Um, our next speaker uh, is Dr. Benzian Geertz, um, and he is from Israel. He will um, speak on the topic of Back from the Brink, Inclusion-Based Dialogue, Education for the New Reality. Thank you. Dr. Geertz. Hello to everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, can you please provide me the sharing screen option? Yes, it is uh, provided, yes. please. Yes, thank you. So I will uh, make best efforts not reading but talking and tell you exactly what I think um, can be effective and uh, important uh, for us. So as I was uh, uh, presenting, I want to speak about uh, the uh, inclusion-based uh, dialogue. Uh, this is a tool that I will suggest that we should uh, use today. And the goal is to change the next level consciousness of men. So whatever science we go, futurology or seeking for solutions, the object of the uh, now or the subject is, uh, is men. And what we need, we need want to change the relations, the in human interactions. For this, we need to change the, uh, the next level of consciousness. Uh, I would like to show you a small, very short clip. Maybe you know this. It is from um, also a, a similar Congress of Scientists, which hold, was held in um, Düsseldorf in uh, 2006. This came to an almost unanimous agreement that in order to better understand one sec. Yes. And what's happening to us this came to an almost unanimous agreement that in order to better understand what's happening today, we must identify and examine our very roots. Then the path is within man to come into a dialogue with the next step of consciousness. This is a real dialogue within. Not only what we will have in the next days of time. Dr. Geertz, I think we're having issues not seeing your screen or hearing your sound. We must identify and examine our very roots. Then the path is within man to come into a dialogue with the next step of consciousness. This is a real dialogue within. Not only what we will have in the next days of time. This game. Okay, so uh, I hope you could hear the the text and uh, the voice. Was it clear? No? Not very clear, no. Uh, okay, you, I shared the voice and, and the sound. Mm, okay. So, okay, just one last attempt. This came to an almost unanimous. Okay.
You can see now the picture. No, no we you don't see, see the a... picture. No, we do not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Please share the whole screen and not just the okay. window. Okay. I will. Okay. I will then share the whole screen. No problem. Now you can see the picture. Yes. Yes. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. Came to an almost unanimous agreement that in order to better understand what's happening today, we must identify and examine our very roots. Then the path is within man to come into a dialogue with the next step of consciousness. This is a real dialogue within, not only what we will have in the next days outside. This came to an almost unanimous agreement that in order to better understand what's happening today, we must identify and examine our very roots. Then the path is within man to come into a dialogue with the next step of consciousness. This is a real dialogue within, not only what we will have in the next days outside. This came to an almost unanimous Okay, so I hope that it could be heard now and watched. Yes, was okay, Elena. Thank you. Yes, it was great. Okay, thank you. So, oh, so exactly, this is uh, what uh, uh, inspired me uh, in these days as well. That it was also even said uh, fifteen years ago that uh, all what we need to search is our next level. This is what we basically try to do in, in science, in philosophy, whatever. And um, the next level should be the next level of our uh, consciousness, uh, searching for the next level of reality. And this should be uh, researched through uh, research uh, human interactions. And uh, what I suggest that we should um, uh, dedicate all our resources to this. Uh, personally, uh, what I am doing now is first, uh, I'm working about intercommunication uh, course, uh, which will be based on the, this uh, dialogue. And I'm already holding a small group um, through a, an online group and also uh, uh, conducting this uh, dialogue-based uh, inclusion. Uh, I will, before, I will show you in short also what does it mean a uh, dialogue-based inclusion and why inclusion is a, a very important key because a lot of questions have about uh, round circles and there are so many uh, methods. But here, um, uh, this uh, dialogue-based inclusion is based on ontological structure of reality. Uh, I adapted the attitude of Martin Buber and David Bohm, uh, and as well of Bala Sulam and Ramash, which all together comprise a, a whole method which uh, enable a theoretical basis and also a practical uh, tool. So about uh, the problems of our current world, we all know, I don't want to uh, spend uh, many words about that. We don't want to be, of course, uh, get into chaos. Uh, but for this, as I said before, we should really need to go to the next level of our uh, consciousness. One rule which I uh, also adapted also from Buber, Bohm, uh, Bala Sulam, Gandhi, uh, which speak that uh, they claim that what we want to discover about our reality, uh, we can call it uh, eternity, God, whatever, but about our creation must be investigated through human interactions. So, and this is the attitude that I suggest nowadays, um, again, to, uh, to stick to this attitude. More and more, 
investigate human interactions. This is, uh, of course, the dialogue, uh, the, this dialogue which is based in inclusion also enables um, uh, a very detailed instruction uh, by Bo, by, uh, 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 by Buber, and especially as one who's being involved in such a practicum for so many years, uh, especially I speak about inclusion, uh, I feel very uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, to do it because uh, this uh, maybe uh, philosophies or theories uh, were not implemented uh, because the scholars usually use uh, philological uh, uh, research but not phenomenological research. So uh, yes, so we don't want, uh, of course, to have a great cost for human life, as we see today, because we want really uh, to move forward. So this is uh, uh, really what we see here, these, uh, these wheels, that we want to integrate them together. And uh, this uh, dialogue really enables uh, to, uh, this to be accomplished. And uh, when we speak about systems, complex systems, uh, whatever systems we want to investigate, uh, humans is the main component in this system because this is, that's the, have the, the, the most powerful uh, uh, effect on the systems and they are all ruled by humans. So uh, that's what we need. And we know that all success and all failures are because of uh, humans, uh, human nature. Yes about, uh, as I said, about complex systems. Uh, we also, as humans, also transfer information. So that's also another step that we can make ahead, uh, not only about uh, networks of uh, neurons or whatever, but also as we, as humans, how we comprise a complex system and transfer information uh, between us. And of course, all of this can be uh, practically experimented in this uh, dialogue circle, uh, in a inclusion-based uh, tool, as I suggest. Okay, so these are the, the sources which I mentioned. Uh, see David Bohm, Buber, Bala, Sulam, and Rabash. Everyone has its own part for contribution to this whole complete method. Uh, uh, David Wohm, as a uh, very famous physicist, uh, the, uh, Martin Buber is a very uh, important philosopher of education and more. Uh, Bala, Sulam, uh, Bala Sulam has a, a enabled a cosmology, a full cosmological theory of structures. And uh, uh, Rabash has really put in detail all these dialogue forms, uh, uh, very practical. Uh, what is interesting that uh, because this dialogue is, is known, but uh, Martin Buber extracted this dialogue from his research of the Hasidut. And, uh, but there was no one to implement it. He was, could just write about it. He was talking uh, about affinity, about dialogue, that man does not exist as a separate part, but only when he is found in a conversation, in a dialogue with the other. And this is the only, the structure, the basic structure of our existence. So, uh, I almost switched to my end uh, uh, presentation. So, in inclusion-based dialogue, as I said, investigates the interplay of desires and how they engage and interact. So as I also saw here in previous uh, um, uh, presentations, the first opening presentation of Professor Ephraim, I saw also that there is, must be dedicated a part of research about desires. So I also adapted the, to uh, this dialogue uh, the theory uh, the, the, as an ontological part of, as a desire. Uh, from uh, uh, Bala Sulam. So in short, what is this inclusion-based uh, uh, dialogue? 
uh, this is a relation of two or more people. Uh, this is an event which is experienced uh, in common. It has a uh, certain rules. This is not empathy. Usually it might be confused with empathy and uh, Martin Buber also writes about it. This is not empathy. And, and this is uh, very uh, needed today in every place because man doesn't know his place, what structure he lives in. As one who is doing now uh, pedagogy, uh, pedagogy uh, uh, for my certificate, I see that teachers, uh, they have no relation to uh, the students, to the pupils, just transferring uh, a knowledge. And also the student has no connection just to get his grades and that's all. So there is no um, substantial uh, relational um, a connection between them. And imagine yourself if the teacher and the student would be in a dialogue, in an inclusion-based dialogue, where they will feel equal and really uh, attend, um, apprehend this uh, affinity, a new, the next uh, level of our con consciousness, which is the next level of our reality. Uh, yes, and then this is the final quote from uh, David Ball. Uh, we said that undivided wholeness in the flowing movement, this is what we want really uh, to achieve by this um, dialogue circle, which is based in inclusion as a tool for investigation. I also suggest it also to all the colleagues here to use this in their uh, uh, collaborative uh, uh, work. And um, I also suggest um, uh, to um, to be focused really on on the next level of uh, if, of our uh, consciousness and of uh, of our reality, because otherwise this will uh, retain us in our uh, current state or even take us even backwards. Uh, that's it. Thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you so much, Dr. Garrett. That was fascinating. Mm -hmm.